But today, I'm supposed to do the job of bidding a goodbye to this wonderful campus. Exactly four years back, if you could remember, on the 13th of August 2018, we, the 1822 batch, witnessed our very first tech fest of college life. Remember the Ford Mustang making the mighty entry then? And today, we are sitting down at the same place as graduates. From posting stories on our Instagram pages to updating job status at our LinkedIn accounts, we have grown up. Yes, we have come a long way. The four-year journey is officially marking an end today. All these beautiful buildings were new to us then, getting confused between A, B, 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 R, B, and C, L, C blocks. All these places became close to us and by heart for us in the, in the first few weeks. As complete strangers, we met. And today, when I look, there's no unfamiliar faces. Because that's how we had evolved. We entered this place with lots of dreams and hopes. And today, we are officially engineers in our respective fields. Sengit was an amazing place. And many of you among us will definitely find reasons to come back here. I consider our batch, the 1822 batch, as one of the luckiest batch. Because it's after two long years, this institution is witnessing and hosting a graduation ceremony. And we are the graduates. We missed our opportunity to host Nakshatra, but I am proud that we are the first batch to celebrate Christmas in the very best way possible and to host a great brochure for Pratitya. When the government declared the reopening of colleges, we felt the biggest joy of our lives. Our college, the management, as well as our departments, gave us all the freedoms and opportunities to celebrate and enjoy our college life. And so, we had almost all the fun that teenagers experience. I'm overwhelmed to say, we all had each other in this four year journey. We laughed together with our heart out. We cried, we learned together, we danced together, we ate together, and we walked around this beautiful campus together. And of course, we had those little which were all beautiful moments right now. Saying it's our second home, our happy place, a place with also a great portion of our hearts. When I look back, it was a fine day like this I had reached St. Kitts. Fortunately, I had landed at the safest hands, my faculties. Words are never enough to thank you for the things you all had done for us. From holding a very strict place in our first year, at least some among you had become our guardian angels, best friends, career advisors, and lot more. Thank you is just a mere word I could say. But we are forever grateful to each and every one of you for not just teaching from the textbook, but also for giving us life lessons. This place, this institution, gave us all we wanted. It just allowed almost all of us to find our strong side. The various academic forums like BMI, SAE, IEEE, IEDC, and a lot more and helped us to become a better individual and also be a professional. Thank you to this wonderful management for providing us with all the opportunities. To all the parents watching me, I hope we had made you proud. To my mom, who is sitting in Mr. Crown, who doubted me in choosing my career, and to my dad, who believed in my dreams, and my sister and grandmother who is watching this, I hope today I had made you proud. Appa, I'm glad that you are here to witness my graduation ceremony. And thank you for being my biggest strength and support for trusting me with your whole heart to achieve my dream. And I kept my promise towards you. Me, your daughter, is a mechanical engineer. As this college and its activities, all these faculties have played a huge role in the same. To each and every father, mother, or sibling, let me tell you a truth. Pursuing this degree was not as simple as you imagine. Even 
the week before our exam, we had studied day and night. We fulfilled the criteria of getting a 22.5 internals and 75 percentage of minimum attendance. We submitted all the records and assignments on time. All these require a lot of hard work and patience. So trust me, we, your children, have reached a great milestone of our life. Thank you for the support and the love you have provided us. And moreover, thank you for choosing an institution like Saviors for us. I also thank the Lord Almighty for sharing all his blessings to us, which is why we are happily graduating today. To all my fellow students who are here as well as miles apart, let's rejoice because we have finally made it to our degree certificate. A heartfelt congratulations to all of you and good luck for your future endeavors. Let's meet at some part of the world. Let this happiness and both stay forever. So once again, on behalf of the entire 2018-2022 batch, I take this moment to thank each and everyone who had played us who had helped us achieve this BTEC degree. I am proud to say I was a student of this great institution. Thank you to all the departments, the principal, HODs, deans, faculty members, and all of the entire management for giving flight to our imagination and dreams. Saint Kitts, my pride, and my department, the Department of Mechanical Engineering, my priority. I was once a Gitsian and I'll forever be a Gitsian. Well, as mentioned before, this amphitheater, this mic, and this crowd always energize to me. And today, I formally mark the end of my appearance on the stage. Literally, it's hard, but still, it's supposed to happen. And so, I would like to conclude my speech by my usual yet special sign off. So, once again, thank you to the entire Sengit's family for being the sole reason of our career. So, with this, it's me, Reshma Susan Reddy, formally and officially signing off from the entire stages of Sengit's. Thank you.